Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Right Way Wednesday. Today I want to talk a little bit about showing the distinct and separate nature of every service that we provide in our daily documentation. If you are a HealthMax user with us, you know that you now have the option to document all of your treatment under a single CPT code so that you don't have to go under each individual CPT code and document that portion of your skilled treatment. That can save you a little bit of time, make your day a little more efficient just by not virtue of not having to go at, um, click as many times into each daily note. Um, but it's really important if you're using this method to ensure that every CPT code that you've built for that day is actually illustrated under that single daily note. Um, and so we think it's a great idea that if you're using this method to actually just jot down a CPT code number, um, or a code right before that portion of the note that you're getting ready to document. It just helps the viewer at a glance um, see, okay, this part of the note is supporting this CPT code and the minutes that this clinician build. We have had in some of our reviews um, by various Macs, reviewers actually point this out. Um, some have not really noticed that we've um, supported multiple components of our billing within a single daily note and so we've had to point that out. Um, some have just mentioned it as, as, as an issue I guess for them for ease of, of viewing and when we look at those notes we do see that they weren't really clearly delineated so um, it just is really easy for um, the reader to, to see the distinct and separate nature of every single CPT code we've built if you're doing it in that way. So that's just a kind of a little tip um, if you're using that method. Another thing I wanted to point out that we have seen from time to time um, throughout my years um, working with appeals and ADRs and, and documentation reviews is that um, Reviewers always do look as well on our at our first treatment note. So that day of the evaluation, if we're providing treatment on the same day that we provided the evaluation, does our daily documentation for that day support that we did both an evaluation and that skilled treatment that we build? Uh, and they're looking at that and they're looking at that very carefully. Sometimes we see a lot um, on that first note see evaluation or sometimes we don't really see anything that supports that we provided skilled treatment and everything that's documented really has to do more with the evaluative process. So you want to make sure that on that first treatment day you are really supporting both that skilled evaluation that that was completed and whatever skilled treatment you provided and show very clearly within those two portions of that daily documentation that they were distinct and separate, that you um, provided skilled treatment separate from the actual evaluation. So that's really important. Um, we've got some great tools to help you with that. Our um, skilled, we've got some great tools on skilled daily notes. We have um, lots of documentation training tools on individual sections of the evaluation as well. Um, but that daily documentation um, guidelines um, tool is a great place to go and, and get all of those guidelines that Medicare requires um, and some great examples. So if you saw our documentation tip of the week this week, um, that is an example or one that we use within that guideline and there are many, many more. So it's a great tool to go look at. Um, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to type into the chat box below or email us at documentation at healthpro-heritage.com and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks and have a great Wednesday. Bye.